One thing I explained in one of my last videos is that the end pieces, I bought a half inch flush cut router bed turbine and I'm routing out these in order to load stock in and out longer lengths. And, uh, that's what I'm going to do today and I have a couple changes I want to make on my Z-axis to hold this router on the brackets, which I'll get to later. Um, so I'm all set up to cut this out. I've already cut the other one out, which I'll show you after closer up view. Um, I cannot find my dust mask. I have a lot of them. I highly recommend a dust mask when working with this, but for this cut, I'm not going to use one. And I also highly recommend safety glasses. So this may get a little loud, but. Here we go. I'm going to put my gloves on for this. It's a little cold. Router's a little cold. I've already set my depth. Here we go. Well, as you can see, it's routed out, and as you could tell, it was one nasty, dusty job. Um, I really wish I had a dust mask. So that's the end I just routed, and this is the other end I routed previously to creating the video. Now I'm going to attempt to redo my mounts for my router. But I don't like the point at where I notched it. So I'm actually going to cut these halfway because I actually have to take the router and force it down into them. Um, I'm going halfway so that way I can just set the router back into the brackets and then put the front pieces on and clamp them in. Um, I'm thinking of actually doing this and drilling all the way through to the back and putting really long bolts into these and bolting it, probably sliding the bolt from the back in and then using wing nuts or locking nuts. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. The more I got looking at my Z-axis mounts, I kind of did like having this not cut in half because I like the way it grips my router when I put it in. So I decided and chose to make a second one, line it up with the first one, and cut this one exactly in half. This keeps my router straight. And it also allows me to get that tight fit into the first one with a little play, um, which I actually like a lot better. So what I did is I cut the second one. I've already countersunk prior for the, the old one I'm replacing. And I pre-drilled into here with my drill bit so I can put my screws in. I've got two screws holes right now, and I'm putting in the third and fourth screw. I'm not gluing this one in. Not just yet, until I make sure I know I like it. The other one was glued in, and I was afraid if I did change it, I was going to have to rebuild this whole plate and remount my bearing. And what 
I'll show you here what I mean. When I slide this router in, this allows me some play because in order to get it in the first bracket, it's got to be lined up pretty good and slid right in. Before, when I had both brackets made like this one, I had a hang of a time trying to slide it in. I actually had to remove all this in order to get it in and out. And I wanted to make things a little bit easier. So now what I have is the router in place and I have my two brackets which will go over the top and be able to be secured down. And then what I'm thinking of doing, I don't have a piece here, but I'm thinking about just putting a blocking in here, either in between or on the sides, probably in between because I, I need my travel on my x-axis. So I'll probably put a block in there and glue it in place for support and bolt that right straight through, hoping that'll strengthen this up well.